Number one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fields K-1 World Grand Prix 2008 semi-final bout number one. And now, entering from the blue stage, from Suriname, Errol Zimmerman. Errol Zimmerman from Holland makes his way to centre ring. Looking to become the youngest ever K1 Grand Prix champion. His record now stands at 6 0. With three knockouts for a 60% KO ratio on the Bone Crusher, he looks psyched. And maybe that confidence is peaking yet again on Zimmerman. As we said, he was done no favours by Everton Teixeira in their quarter-final earlier on tonight. Is he carrying some injury? Or is he putting up a very brave face to cover up any doubts he may have here? We will find out shortly. We are joined ringside. It's great to have you here. The big bad beauty, Danny Sugarray. Back in the winner's circle, brother. Well done, Thank Ryan. you, brother. Hope to you know. I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to be part of uh, the awesome uh, atmosphere. And as we know, Cinnamon is one of the young fighters who's actually made it to the semifinals. Brother, where did you pull those spinning back fists out of? <laughs> hey, well, Luke, Kimbo was out of his seat. <laughs> I'm glad, brother. It's awesome to see you here. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. Errol Zimmerman, a long walk to center ring, and he is ready to throw down with hurry. And now, entering from the red stage, from Morocco, Bader Hari. Favorite, but a hurry joint second favorite with Remy Benjaski. 
Nobody thought Butter Harry would come out guns blazing and absolutely handle Peter Rhodes the way he did. And he's back again. It's a fresh Butter Harry looking to square down now with Zimmerman. Sugar Ray Seppo. This one is going to go bananas. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the pressure's out of all the guys and the sharpest out of all the guys in the quarterfinals and she's about to hurry. And as we know, that's the biggest talent out there today. And um, I mean, the way he won the fight against Peter was amazing. And, you know, he's the one that's looking to be the favorite at the moment. Out of hurry, his K1 record now stands at 15 and 3. With 11 knockouts, 69% KO ratio for the 23 year old. And look at the intensity. On the face of Zimmerman is Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go. Semi-final action scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with orange trim. He made his way to the semi-finals with a third-round majority decision win. Introducing Arrow, the bone crusher, Zimmerman. In a minute, 6'3", 227 pounds. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red trim. He made his way to the semifinals by way of a second round TKO, introducing the golden boy, Butter Harry. Butter Harry, 6'6", 203, A1 World Heavyweight Champion. His first ever semi-final appearance in the K1 Grand Prix last year didn't make it out of the quarter-final stage against the flying Dutchman Remy Benjaski. It is an all-Dutch battle. Originally, though, Suriname in the blue corner, Errol Zimmerman. Morocco in the red corner of Badahari in the stare down. Between K1's two bad boys, two loudest mouths, two cockiest. What a lineup we've got here. We are pimping ringside. Ray Sefo, Kimbo Slice. Ernesto Hoost, Mike Kogan, and myself, Michael Chevello. Semi-final number one from the sold-out Yokohama Arena in Japan. The Fields K1 yes. at World Grand Prix, wherever yes. you're watching around the world, yes. especially all of our fans in the US watching live for the first time yes. on HDNet. We hope you're enjoying it just as much as we are. The winner of this one goes through to the final. They trade leg kicks early. And neither man wants to take a backward step. Both men throw with a lot of power, Sugar Ray. This is exactly what Suleiman needs to do, is actually take the fight to Butter. Because, as you know, if he sits back, Butter's much quicker and a lot technical when he's laying in those leg kicks. Jab it's easier outside. said than done. Right, that's right. Jab outside thigh kick from Butter Hurry is the bread and butter combination of the Moroccan. Gloves up nice and high on both men. Jab two from Zimmerman at full extension, leaves the lead leg out there. And Butter pays. Oh, cracks away to the liver section. The slap of that one reverberated around the Yokohama Arena. If yep. this one goes through to the latter rounds into the third, it'll be interesting to see if Zimmerman lasts, given the punishment he take or he took from Tishira in their quarterfinal. As we said earlier, Butter Hari, the fresher of the two. But still, I think that uh, Butter look, look, doesn't look as, as, as focused as he was with Peter. And uh, with Peter, he, he started smoking, and now he's much more relaxed. As opposed to Zimmerman, who's actually looking much better than he did against yeah. Shakira. Basically, yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. Zim hurry. Zimmerman definitely looks a lot sharper in this fight than he did in his first fight. So I guess it just needed to have that first fight out of the way to warm up. Zimmerman in his first ever K1 Grand Prix. Shook off the nerves now. One and a half minutes remaining here in the first round of three body shot. Belly button through the back there from Butter Hurry. That was a very nice straight right. Hurry in center ring, keeping agile on the balls of his feet. Thought about a Superman punch. Fourth right handed Errol Zimmerman. Nice jab, just threads it through the defense. Gets great extension on the right hand and a nice counter from Hurry. Got him against the ropes, no go to the liver, then to the head. Errol in trouble. Here comes Hurry. A good old-fashioned Donny Brook in the corner, right? Zimmerman took that well. Recovered, came back and countered back. So I was just going to say, I don't know about Zimmerman in trouble. He didn't look. He looked like he was doing pretty good defense. No, there. absolutely. But a hurry opening up momentarily, and Zimmerman edges forward. Wants to throw the right. Does. I like to see Butters use that jab a little bit more, just to find his range. 
like Ernesto said earlier, in the first fight, you know, used his jab. He was smoking against Peter Ertz, so, you know, for, for this fight, I think he needs to go out, work off his jab a little bit more, just to find his distance. Under 30 seconds remaining here in the first round of three. Jab outside, fire kick from Zimmerman. And one for the judges to call. Right hand there from Zimmerman is. Butter goes to the body. 10 seconds remaining. Butter chopping the lead leg again. Thumps to the midsection. Errol shakes his head and says, You've got to do better than that, Butter. Right hand lead from Butter. Then the jab oh. over the top. End of the first round, we go to the towels. Kimbo slice. You've got to love that first round. These very two guys mean business. Yes, very exciting first round. Very exciting. Kimbo, if you had to lean one way, would you go Badahari? Would you go Errol or do you go a drawn round? I like Badahari. Okay, let's do the run of the table here, Ernesto. Yeah, I agree with Kimbo. I mean, uh, Bada was the aggressor in this round. And uh, although uh, Errol came back a few times, Bada landed more punches and kicks. Sugar Ray? Absolutely. Butter, butter worked well to the body. And I, you know, like I said earlier, I like to see him use his jab a little bit more, but definitely Butter. And Mike Hogan, we're going to make it unanimous to Butter in the first round? I would have to give it to Butter Hari, but, but only because of activity. I don't think he did any substantial damage to Errol Zimmerman. I think Zimmerman just kind of slowed down towards the end of the fight. The judges do agree. All three judges giving it 10 9 to Butter Hari after one. We are ready to rock and roll. Second round of action. Semi final number one. Yeah. The winner to take on. Either Gokan Sagi or Remy Bonjaski. Nice jab. Beautiful jab. Succulent technique from Badahari as always and thrown with power. That's the beauty of watching the K1 World Heavyweight Champion. Almost There's that jab Ernest is talking about. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what we were calling all along, right? Jab, body shot once more, and digging away to the liver section. Good handiwork so far from Banahari, dominating the boxing contest, then switches up round kick to the head. Errol tries to return the favor off the back leg. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with Errol in this fight because in the first one, he just looked lethargic, and yet this one, he's very sharp. Um, maybe he needed, uh, as right. earlier said, uh, said it earlier, uh, to warm up. Right. Well, but he needs to do something though. He needs to he needs to steal the momentum and he needs to start attacking. But he can't just you know keep. Well, Bana missed with the front kick, then slammed the fire kick on Errol. Under two minutes remaining here in the second, spinning heel kick to the midsection, looking for the gut muncher. Didn't work for Bone Crusher Zimmerman. I must have been watching uh, when I fought Harmon Choi. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Ray pulling out all the tricks here tonight as referee gives a brief adjustment to the groin guard of Bana Hurry. Zimmerman needs to start throwing down here. Butter circles off to his right. Cracks the leg kick. Zimmerman checks it. Shin on shin. Right hand lead. Tagging left over the top of the right glove. Good combination from Butter. What I love about Butter is very explosive and very quick. High left round kick. Trying to loop the shin across the forehead of Zimmerman. Oh, the oh. That's amazing. He went for that right uppercut, actually, and ended up uh, eating an overhand right by Zimmerman. We told you all night, one of the sharpest right hands in all of K1 is on the 22-year-old Zimmerman. And here comes Hurry, digging away to the liver, then to the head, goes back to the body. Uppercut almost took out the ring light. Zimmerman tries to thread the right hand again. Oh, big body shot from Butter on the inside. Rocks the head back with a jab. Goes to the stomach once more. Zimmerman pokes his tongue out. You know, I mean, seriously, I mean, if, Butter, if Zimmerman pulls this one off, it's going to ruin Butter. <laughs> well, you know what? But there was one thing that was questionable about Butter going into any of these fights, and that was his chin. Right. Yeah. And obviously, Zimmerman just exposed it. Uh, uh, but it was, a, it, was, it was a very hard shot. And he comes back very good. Oh, he went for the Leco Buster, the spinning heel kick. Final five seconds of the second round. Butter a goal on the big oh. oh. The tide is turned. The tide is turned. Oh. It's the pendulum has oh. swung. The pendulum has oh. swung. Oh. And the listener oh. of this place erupt. Oh, my goodness. 
I this mean, is unbelievable. Oh. As you would say, Mike, you can't strip <laughs> this of us. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, Ernesto, shades yeah. of when we commentated Butter versus Roslan Karaya. Yeah. Roslan dropped Butter, then yeah. Butter got up and dropped Roslan. Well, it may, it, sometimes it looks like uh, uh, it's literally with Butter. I mean, he needs to, to get a slap in the hair sometimes to wake up. Yeah. Home and this is what it thing. looked like. You know, he's playing around, playing around. Home and Joy knocks him down. Butter gets up and just annihilates the guy's uh, rib. Right. right. Sugar Ray. What are you doing? Those are not Kaiwan. He's all about rounds of action like that. Absolutely. I mean, and we said all along, love or hate Butter. He's the biggest talent out there today, and he's proven to us not only that he deserves to go to the final, but also the fact that he can take a shot and come back. All what was, what three was judges that? are giving that one eight points apiece. So a yeah. drawn yeah. round. One more round to go. Three was, minutes will decide. What was the first round? First round was all 10-9 in favor okay. of Butter. Okay. So Butter hurries yeah. still ahead by a point. Okay. Listen to the applause. This is why K1 is the greatest fight promotion on the planet. No one quite does it like K1. And the Grand Prix is the Mac Daddy, the granddaddy of them all. Thrusting jab from Badahari. They are absolutely swinging for the KO here in the third round. That's a beautiful jab by Butter. And all along, we've said that, you know, he needs to work off that jab. And that jab's eating uh, Zimmerman's face all night. Oh, nice right-hand counter from Badahari to the Schnoggin again. Of Errol Zimmerman thrust out the jab. Full extension, good reach. Zimmerman edges forward. He'll look to fire the right hand and again eats the leather off the lead of Badahari. I like to see Zimmerman move his head a little bit because he's just walking in and eating the jab. Uh, the jab, uh, Butter's jab is so oh, soft. And he dropped oh, him with the jab! Great jab. Well, no knockdown, no, no, says the no. referee. He upended him with the jab. Beautifully done. The timing. Well, Butterhari shouldn't be Moroccan. He should be Swiss with timing like that. <laughs> I don't think Zimmerman has seen those jabs. I'm sure he want to get his head out of the way, too. But I think they're just too damn fast. But <laughs> still, it, goes, it can go both ways. Oh, the big shot again off the right hand! Errol shuts it off and comes forward. Half a round remaining here in the third and final. Both men are throwing caution to the wind. Sticking jab again. Oh, and by the hurry, foot meets mouth. I don't think someone wants to eat a foot like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a foot jab. Sandwich. But that jab is like a straight right hand. It's, it's just out there so fast that Zimmerman can't even see it. Oh, right to Zimmerman's hand. credit, he's standing there and taking it. Oh, absolutely. Including a straight right hand that he just took. K1 World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, the He's down! He's down! He's down! He's down! It's over. He's not gonna get up! Oh, He's not gonna get up! It's over! It's over! It's good to go on A standing ovation! That was an amazing fight. An amazing fight. What do you think about that game, though? Man, that was very exciting. Very exciting. Kimbo, after a fight like that, I want to say to you, welcome to our world of K1 Live. Hey, it's not to be here. I know Bada, Bada was in his zone, you know, he was in his zone. Errol Zimmerman was in trouble, Bada was in his zone. That was one of the most unbelievable K1 fights we have seen in a Grand Prix Ray for a long, long time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like, you know, um, it, this is the type of fight, you know, going back to the days of Vanessa Hoos, Peter Hurt, Jerome Le Banner, Andy Hook, all the, the top names. I mean, this is exactly what it used to be. Let's not be so modest, because you're, you're about that age group, buddy boy. Let's not act like you're a young gun. Uh, I'm not. Oh. You, are, you are, we were taught you are the Mr. K1 as, as any of them. Ernesto, thank you. Yes. The all-time greatest. Your analysis of that performance as Bada Hari crosses our commentary position gives us the high five. Your analysis of Bada's performance and how he is looking well, with one more fight to go. As I say, he looks very sharp. He started, he started uh, at a slower pace than uh, than uh, when he fought with, uh, with with Peter. But then, especially after he uh, after he got down, then he woke up, and uh, that's the way it has to be.
A devastating right hand, smack bang on the kisser, dead centre of the ring. Errol Zimmerman going down face first. It is one for the highlight reel from the human highlight reel, Vanahari. And Zimmerman was on the astral plane. This crowd absolutely showering Butterhurry. They adore him here in Japan and all over the world. Because the K1's heavyweight champion is through to the K1 Grand Prix final. And the sales of Kia automobiles are soaring all over the world. <laughs> People are running buying Kia. I'm going to go get one. Gentlemen, that they told me to say that. This from the man who just bought his new Bentley. Congratulations.